Gentlemen, how are you? Do me a favor, Puppy Licks, please hit us up on the Puppy Licks. 29 already waiting. Wow, glad to have you. Thank you, thank you. 29 of you hitting the like button simultaneously calls it an, an energy surge that drives everything forward and up and onwards and into the Google algorithm. Yes, thank you. Glad to be with you. Um, it is the Market Sniper, 29 puppy licks coming up. Um, it is the Market Sniper, and we're talking to you why, why, kind of clickbaity, uh, but it's because of a particular event that is going to be coming around, and that event is the uh cpi number usa 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 <laughs> yes indeed it's the big hulk drinking the green mm. join me in a in a mouthful of taste good to be with you guys uh crypto so what's going on what's the hype what's the title all about 96 110 Ray, bring it on bring it on bring it on share and retweet smearing and uh sharing is greatly appreciated so what's happening, guys? What's happening today? Well, in about nine minutes from now, um, you're going to have a big number coming out of the US of A. It is the CPI number in terms of expectation. Um, and yes, indeed, it is a welcome to Kai. Welcome, Kai James. Devolt, hit the like button, he says. Top man. Great to have Devolt in the room. Be seeing him later this year. Mr. Iraqi, master of the internet. It's fake. Yes, hello, he says. Ryan, Crypto Slim, we're watching your chats. We're glad to be with you. We're glad to be acknowledging you all. Thank you for the support and likes of this great channel. Don't forget the Market Sniper, www.themarketsniper.com to get updates. Just gave a lengthy update to the community about what's coming now. You guys are only hearing it now. There's a big difference uh, in a minute. Uh, and there's a big difference in 15 minutes and an hour, but I'll still be doing my best for you. This is what I think is going to be happening. And you have to remember something. It's a key pivotal event, and it is literally binary. It's either up or it's down. Um, there's a squeezy, squeezy Japanese. Oh, watch the USD JPYII uh, on our market sniper dot, uh, that market sniper channel, also on the market sniper Twitter. But what we're actually seeing is, period of dollar dominance that we've been calling for a long period and it's been damaging for most risk on assets most risk on assets and of course we have bitcoin which uh, i'm watching on the, another screen here somewhere over there in the sky and i am highlighting to you that it's been in a holding pattern this is actually unfortunately for you a bit of a bear flag uh, a little bit of a bear flag and the last time there was a bear flag there was one catch where we got something wrong um, and I will share this out through uh, Twitter again. So all of you go to, while you're watching this, you're also watching your Twitter and you're watching at the Crypto Sniper. I'm going to tweet the chart factor. Because last time, round about it was March of 14, 15th of March, we said Bitcoin was going to break down and it had a bit of a squeezy and it actually went up. That's when Jay Powell came out with just a 0.25 increase when he had a runaway 8% inflation. It was like, really? So you're not really that worried at all about doing anything about this. And Bitcoin initially went up only later to come back down into what was an extension of the bear flag. So bear flags are like these channels, selling leg, two channels, extension, and then by the elbow you can't see uh, a fallout the bottom um, and that it did in a spiller a thriller all the way from manila wow, it came on first class on the malaysia airline that didn't crash in the ocean and uh, you got uh, a, a real hard hit that took you from the 40ks and the 42ks key levels of significance key levels of significance go find out all about what that means when you go to the market uh, and become by the way there's self-study options but we know not everybody has um around about 9.5 uh, k but let me tell you you have lost more than that just doing dumb shit and you won't do that again <laughs> when you get smarter everybody's not got the money to learn but they've got thousands and thousands and thousands to lose having a punch <laughs> You've got to become master of the executive mind center and everything has rationale and there's a reason why you do it. Um, so there is a big, big disasters happening in the world and it's our view that there's more fear to come and as a result, it's going to go down. So what is our expectation? Well, if you pivot over to 
the uh, uh, forage factory as well, which we will also pull up. They are expecting a 0.7 number month on month, 0.7 for the month in inflation. Now, 0.7 times 12, and you'll get to 8.4%, which means no great change. Hit the likes, 245 of you. Glad to have you. Um, glad you like the title. Uh, smash the likes. We've got 60 out of 240. That means 25% of you think it's, it's okay that someone wants to give you his thoughts just before a major data release that could have a material effect on Bitcoin, crypto, and everything else. The others wish there were more ads and less live streaming of useful information at key moments. Um, so make sure you voted correctly. Remember, most of you are voting and it doesn't change a fucking thing. <laughs> so vote where at least it makes a small minuscule amount of difference to the algorithm. So what's going to happen is uh, if we do 0.7 uh, and the number comes in in the better part of about four, three, four minutes, you will probably see uh, dollar strength. Especially if it's higher, if it's 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 0 0.9, blah, 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 to the upside, it's probably going to lead to dollar strength. Why? So the key reasons are it will lead to dollar strength because uh, inflation remaining strong and all that they've done remaining ineffective means they need to do more and faster and continue. Um, thereby, you will get further increases at 0.5 coming along uh, steadily, more discounted into the future. Uh, at the moment, they're probably in the next one or two they're counting on and they think there might be three. Um, I don't I don't know about that. Things are going to break a lot quicker. It is far more vulnerable out there. Debt markets are down. But anyway, um, you'll see. But if that uh, inflation number comes in high uh, on the number or above, I think it's a case of on the number or above. I think on is going to belong to the bull dollar case. You are going to overall see more interest rate hikes. It's going to mean downside for bonds, downside for NASDAQ, downside for equities generally, but particularly NASDAQ and Kathy Wood of ARC. She's going to rising wedge, rising wedge, spill to the downside. Check that chart out. Uh, I must also tweet out that uh, fractal. Now, I was telling you about when we were the time we were wrong, and I'm going to repost it on Crypto Sniper. A little bit of a fractal that we sent out yesterday. I'll also retweet um, our XRP uh, push. Now, again, we think a little bit of downside on XRP. It goes out again. Let's just have a look. Where was that fractal draw looking through where we drew and uh, what we expect to have happen? So many awesome retweets. I've got to scroll, scroll, scroll. Um, so what happened last time is that, Jay, we got a rally flag extension. That squeezy actually first saw a bump to the upside. Then you extend it. Then you let go of the 40.42 and you came all the way down to the 30K levels where you're now again in a holding pattern. That was the target of our head and shoulders from the 64 high that came down. Target, key level of significance, law round numbers, 30K. Bang, you are on that level and you're doing another bear flag. Now, the question is, is this squeezy going to do the same as last time? with a little bit of a bump to the upside and run to the higher point. So we'll be wrong today, but long-term right, like we were on the basis of hyperstagflation theory, which on the macros we have very conviction on. Or will it actually spill immediately and will be uh, accurate on the shorter time frame as well as the, the macro? That's what we're answering today. Remember, it's not about actually being right or wrong. It's about whether you make money. I am positioned for hyperstagflation. So I am looking at fear mainly. I'm looking at the yen being killed, demand, uh, yield curve control. Uh, the FX markets are the new crypto markets if you've been following us on the yen. And we have the same view for the euros, but the Asians have jumped into the front of the, the queue. We don't know who's first going to do the dumbest shit. And in this case, it's been Japan. Um, so with that due to happen, essentially all of crypto is largely going to move in one direction. And that news is about a drop in one minute's time. Now, my Forex factory is a tiny bit slow, so you guys might even have the data before me. But wait, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Um, we are going to get rid of that. Go away, go away. And we are sitting and watching on Tento Hooks. Isn't it exciting doing this all together? We do this often with the community and premium when there's big news announcements and we are waiting to see how things are going to go. So core CPI is different to CPI. So core CPI is an inflation that is deemed to be uh, on the Maslow's hierarchy of needs, very much around shelter, 
food, etc. So we're going to be seeing, whoops, that peep, that is an alert that is telling me things are starting to move. That means Goldman's, Goldman Sachs with their gold plated. Bitcoin now sub 30, 29719. Getting nervous. We think this is, we thought it might be a downside, but we haven't got the number yet. They probably have. That's what they call democracy, friends. Spend more money, get it all in. Now, 0.6 core piece, 1%. <laughs> 1% CPI, we're curtailing inflation, we expect 0.7, we give you one, way, 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 well done that, with the oil price where it is and going higher, let me tell you, that was our suspicion, so that's a great result for the shorters, I'm afraid, you hate us sometimes, don't hate us, join us, um, it's all about the market going down, this is actually pain for a lot of people, I don't take delight in pain, I laugh because it's close humor, I don't take delight in other people's suffering, some people will say, oh, you said comedy about this, no, it's a fantasy world that they're creating. I'm laughing at the lies and the deception that is being exposed on them. So we have a 1% CPI on a 0.7 expected. We have a 0.6% core CPI on a 0.5 expected. Everything we expected, we expected overs on. We discussed this in the community. We told them in advance. You're finding out five minutes before as it's happening. Um, even can can Canada I almost said, uh, and I love saying that. I'm so dyslexic. Uh, unemployment rate 5.1 on uh, Canada, which is slightly better than expected 5.2, 39.8k employment change. So Canada's numbers actually reasonably decent. Um, but what that probably means is. They aren't under so much pressure to um, uh, in, in tighten interest rates. It's all about the USA and CPI is running the game. CPI is running the game. We've got 320 of you. We've got 127 likes. Hit the like button now to say thank you for giving me a live stream at a time when things are going down at great rates. So let's update you on what's going on in the markets Let's have a look and see what's going. So Bitcoin is not, it's not a spiller at this point. Sometimes the, the really big moves take place uh, subsequently when people go, shit, really? These guys are going to be increasing rates even more. 1%. They expected 0.7. 1%, guys. Let's just break that down for you. Let's just break this shit down for you because this is going over a lot of people's heads, sometimes even my own. We need, we need to understand conceptually what 1% is. 1% month is 12% a year. If you maintain that rate on their fake lie, BLS stats, you are going in inflation down 12% a goddamn year. Hey, snipers, good to see community members in the comments. Great to see you all. Stan, my shorts are printing. So we gave the guys maker. Uh, again, we've still been long-term short on it. We've got very big targets on it. It was already spilling yesterday. There was inherent weakness in some of the alts. It gave us additional confidence for our bias. There's no money. The early people always seem to know. Bitcoin now, 29,574, having held above 30 for an extended period. You are in a bear flag on a selling leg. You will not be getting on this data event the bump that saw us be incorrect last time when j Powell just did a 0.25. Um, so what's happening on the likes of our friends Maker uh, that we are short on? And uh, we've been warning Hex, uh, guys, they're going to lose a bunch. We are at 1076. Uh, this is also a great spiller. We'll take a picture of that and we'll release that through the Crypto Sniper. Go and follow the Crypto Sniper if you want to see the chart releases. Did a couple of retweets. I'm still looking for the one. Let's go find the one that was highlighting the fractal where it bumped up initially. And we asked the question whether we'd do the same. In fact, that has already been answered. We've got a bad uh, print. But hold on, this is straight after the data. We can't celebrate absolute facts and say it's all going our way because what can happen is the market can sometimes shrug something off and pump. Is it likely at this point? I don't feel that. That's a big miss. 0.7 to 1 is a big, big miss. That is an inflation rate of 12%. By the way, just in case you're wondering, we said on our traditional markets um, that you would find that... Uh, Europe and Britain and the Western Europe generally is going to receive, instead of dollars from America, because the American consumer is being compressed, de-wealthing effect, house prices going down, stock portfolio going down, uh, tightening interest rates, less consumer expenditure, record high levels of credit card debt, the expensive variety, 
Don't use a credit card to buy uh, stuff. Don't have debt full stop. Uh, I have none. A bank owns me, can claim nothing from me. Um, and I will say to you, um, that crushed the consumer. So what ends up happening is he stops buying Mercedes, BMW, Samsung, uh, Toyota that are coming from USD, JPY, the Japanese uh, economy that come from Korea, the Korean economy that come from Western Europe. What happens is the euro has been crushed because the America is tightening. Uh, generally, even though it's had a, a firming up spell recently, it's generally been crushed. It's come down from 117 on a head and shoulder that we call all the way down on your Dixie, down to the current 105 levels. So what is the Euro USD? You need to know these things if you're a crypto trader. This is a crypto channel, but you need to be wise. You need to become worldly wise. This is an event. Bitcoin is measured against the dollar. Don't forget that. Yeah, that is why we do the talk about other things such as currencies. So you were at 107s yesterday. You're now at lower 105s, 105, mid 105s. Um, someone is saying, camera from hell? It's not a camera from hell. What are you saying? Hope you're seeing me all okay. Maybe somebody else has got uh, a slow uh, stream. Slow down, bro, says somebody. This is high energy YouTube channel, but we don't do anything in slow motion. Uh, when you know what you're talking about, it rattles out and it just comes rolling, rolling out. So what does this mean? So euro is going lower uh, slightly. This doesn't mean huge, 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 but sometimes you get a delayed reaction that can accelerate later. Dollar being strong, the dollar index is at 103.74. It closed 103.3 yesterday, but it had already begun running yesterday. So it came up in the last period. You got the dollar index at about 102 on 9th of June, and now it's 103.7 on the 10th of June. So those candles have been a substantial move. This is using the dollar as a wrecking ball to smash the emergings. USD, try, 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 Turkish Lira. Oh my God, the poor Turkish. Uh, the Turkish Lira has been smashed, the Yen has been smashed, yield curve control. So what this actually means, where there's dollar dominance uh, and inflation high is that you're going to keep getting guys bet upside on the expected number on inflations every time. This is they need they want inflation on you. So let me explain how this works. They get to take your stuff. You see, that's how it works, because what happens with inflation is billionaires become super rich and the debt that they have borrowed at super cheap rates to buy assets the debt gets devalued because the dollar currency is being killed and all fiats are being killed at an accelerated rate because they printed so much during COVID. So down, 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 down. Yet the assets retain buying power. That means they go up in these diminishing dollars. Even just standing still, they go up. In other words, you own a gold bar, you own something physical that you hold or a loaf of bread that you can eat. You have to pay more diminishing fiats for it. So it doesn't even have to go up to go up in the diminishing fiat. That is what's happening. So it enriches billionaires and it absolutely smashes the middle class and the working poor. Now, Eurozone, Eurozone, Euro, PPI came in yesterday annualized rate. Listen to this. What is PPI? Producer price inflation. That's the manufacturers and the makers, how much they buy their inputs to make some shit black box that they then sell to you. So it's not the actual ticker price. That's consumer price. That's the outside change in price. It's the cost on their inputs. Remember, they have margin. They make money. 37% in Euroland. Can you believe that? 37%. So a manufacturer's costs coming in is 37% up on a year-on-year -year basis. Everything he uses on average on the big, um, uh, the big old uh, inputs on the manufacturing, 37% up. And what does that mean for you? That means his margins are getting crushed. And he's going to pass that cost on, and that's the CPI. Even if he only passes on 10% on his price, his margins are getting crushed because his input costs are going higher, and you are going to be buying less of his stuff, and you're going to have a higher CPI. So how, if your producers are facing 40% in input inflation in Euroland, part and parcel, devaluing currencies, fiats are designed to fail, 
and they are busy failing against uh, this global world uh, hegemony. And this is how they will bring you into central bank digital tokens. So we've called for the Dixie to fly through our initial target of 111 and well beyond. In short, we see a dollar spike crushing other FX pairs against the dollar, of which the yen is the first to fall. It's the first major, major currency to do a Turkish lira. It is the first major currency to do a Turkish lira. And now I'm going to tell you something that's going to shock you. The ruble is a solid currency. It had its final blow-off melt-up, and now it is back, and it is now probably, in terms of fundamentals, the best and most solid currency, the Russian ruble. That's right. And by the way, we called all those events for upside breaks against the ruble. We've been waiting, in some cases, years since 2014 when it last happened. Um, and the same for the try. The crypto market has moved to the FX market. There you've got all the same leverage. You make more money uh, on smaller moves. And at the moment, unfortunately, crypto is stagnating, low volatility, and then spills. So let's keep an eye on that uh, Bitcoin and those maker trades. We also were short uh, suggesting it might go down on Ripple as well. We'll have a little look. We've also been short Algorand, Elrond, Jesus, get it right, boy. E-G-L-D, can't get those two. Uh, they, they confuse me. The crypto market confused me. So many names that are so similar. E-G-L-D, Elrond, and Algorand. That's too much for a man. Uh, of my uh, week standing. And so down at 59. It's actually not an absolute death spiller, I have to say, but I would expect uh, it's going to hurt at some point. So a bit of momentum might come into it. We've also warned that Sol has been very, very poor and weak and is going to is winding up to run a funnel to the downside. That could be coming. Um, Ethereum under 1800 at 1751. Uh, it's still looking heavy. doesn't look like it's had the full run. It's knocking on the trap door. So you've got these squeezy Japanese with the flat bottoms, and they are knocking on the trap door, looking to find a way home. Maker threw $300 to the downside. Uh, we've said that since two and a half, when everyone thought we were potty. Now at 1,100 odd, it doesn't sound so weird anymore to have a 200 number in it. I think you'll get around 275, 290s. Uh, and if there's a possibility of major overshoot on wick spikes, by the way. So if we have full on fear, I mean, we're seeing palladium markets and copper markets, industrial metals. There's going to be such a reduction of um, economic activity. These guys want to do the equivalent of or beyond of a COVID slowdown. That's how they kill inflation. But actually, they want to run the inflation for a while so that they can validate flushing you out of all your assets and making you force sellers so that they can own it all and you can own nothing and be so happy about that fact. Isn't that lovely? I'm so happy. I am a homeless person living under a bridge with not a penny to tickle my backside with. Okay, let's have a look at some of these comments. Spiller from Manila, says Craig Parker. Travis Maloney, US tenure taking a spill. So we'll check the debt markets for you. This is not good for debt markets. Why? Inflation going up means more tightening interest rates, which means the yield on the bonds go up and the values go down. We called a turn on this market in 2020 throughout July and August. No one till two years later did uh, when inflation became big news. No one. Everyone was talking Japanese, Japanese, uh, Japanification. The, they were all talking deflation in 2020 because the events of the pandemic were so vast. Um, so let's have a look. This is not going to be supportive for gold. We are bulls uh, long run on metals, but I can tell you that it's not supportive for gold. We had the gold-silver ratio winding up for the upside a little bit, but it's now suddenly stopping. Um, I think these guys will stop and turn a lot sooner than cryptos, which are more liquid, a uh, higher beta. I don't mean more liquid. Silver is actually dipped all the way down to 21.2 and is just rejecting. So metals are actually just rejecting the pace lows. Um, so you're getting a big hammer here. Uh, share screen is not doable. We're not doing the usual, um, the usual, we use a big pearl system down here so that we can actually stream with a share screen as well and do the charts. It takes quite a lot of setup. We've just been traveling and have just come back. So I'm doing a face-to-face -face only. That's straight off YouTube. Go and click it. 
Um, you've got to understand most people can't do it. We've got a lot of kit that we've invested to do that. That's why we ask you to hit the like button, help us grow and make better investments, more share screens, more detailed presentations. We throw the money. I've got an SLR here. I've got lighting. We've got the whole pool. We can do it. We need a time to set it back up. We've just arrived back from long travel. So you will get those shares again. Sometimes it's nice just to talk. Hex is going to go down. Poor Hexicans. What do you think about Hex, says somebody. Ah, it's going to go down. I think it's going to go sub percent, uh, the next major funnel level. And that's at five. So I think another 80% fall from here. No one's going to like me for that. I don't know. I think it would be smart to be a little bit less conspicuous consumption and compassionate, although I'm, I know it's done kind of in jest and all of that. But I do think these there are things that are bigger that are going down. People become forced sellers. They will end stake. They will do all sorts of things. We are doing a wind up at a funnel level that's between the 6.3 and the 5.2 zone. Um, and we called for that funnel to be met after the 13 and 11 funnel was broken. And you smashed through all of them right the way down. And the next funnel level is right down at 1.2 down to 75% uh, of one cent. 0.75 of a cent. Don't ask me to say that after a bottle of Omega Tequila as drunk by real Mexicans. Yeah. God bless Mexico. Any Mexicans in the house? Give me a shout out. Uh, and interesting people. I forgot. I forgot the interesting people. I didn't qualify on the Mexican bit, but I do qualify as an interesting person. I, I, I've recategorized my uh, relative insanity as a point of interest. Hex. Hex coin is trash, says somebody. Si, senor, says escape. TLT is still above support. So let's check that debt market. So we're pivoting. So I'm running the charts on the other screen. That's why you'll look at the side of my head. I'll try and make it the good side if there is one. TLT. Uh, yeah. So it got a little bit of a bid there. It shouldn't have. I, I looked at the, with the community and I said the only thing that's not looking quite right for me is the debt market. It should trade lower. It looks like it's going to get a bit of a bid. And we've just missed on an inflation number and bonds are actually getting a little bit of a bid. <laughs> that's the banks. Go hold up that fucking bond market. That's what they're going to have been told by the federal chief Satan. Remember, the Federal Reserve is owned by the banks. They're all part of a cartel. This is a privateer cartel. This is a private megacorp cartel of corporations that include the Federal Reserve and the banks who are doing and writing laws that are there to serve their interests, not yours. You are the patsy in the room. You are the defragmented multitude of millions that they will want to shear like sheep uh, and send to the local slaughterhouse. Uh, they want more manageable world and they are going to enrich themselves and become the legalized owners of all your stuff. How do you protect yourself? You go to themarketsite.com, you book a call, reset, sniper, protecting my wealth in times of federal reserve and cartel banking aggression. That is what you're facing. So 416 of you and 235 likes. We appreciate that. That's well through the 50%. That's awesome of you. We appreciate the shares as well. TLT, slightly holding up. Should be going down, but maybe they had the script. There was a rising wedge before it. I'm looking at it, and it broke down. So sometimes the market is getting the nod. Don't forget, these guys know the number before you get the number. If you think the news is news for you, never trade off news. That's why I trade technically. The story follows later. That's why we trade technically and that's why i was watching maker selling off already yesterday and i think some of the scared money was running out um so what else have we got uh what's your thoughts on xrp so long run potentially i think it's going to play some role in the cartel um and i don't think uh you know i, I think it will probably likely go up but i think it could go cheaper first and the question is 26 cents is a target generated uh, on an inverted, I think we need more pain to get there. I think we're going to need more inflationary bad news. Um, so here's what's actually happening. You've got stubbornly high inflation that is absolutely killing the amount people will buy because it costs a lot more uh, money. So your demand curve, price bought, your, if your price is here on your vertical and your quantity bought is here, um, price vertical, quantity, uh, your demand curve like that at an angle. Now, when the prices go up, 
the quantity bought is less. When the prices come down, the quantity bought is higher. So what ends up happening when you have inflation, you have a whole shift of that curve like that. So prices go really high and people's ability to demand um, go, uh, quantity they can buy go down, down, down. So uh, the demand is going to go down and that's how they're going to try to contain inflation. They're going to kill demand. There's no screen to share. This is a FaceTime share. We do do live streams um, using Pearl equipment. And when you get that, you get this entire box with graphic equalizer, amazing Pearl that synchronizes Max and everybody's different protocols, does a whole bunch of stuff. By the way, it cost me 14,000 pounds to buy. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, and all I ask for is a like and a share so that we can do live stream with screen and face live stream i can always record with camstasia on a pre-record basis but if you want something live that's what we do and now you can appreciate the investment we make slrs all of that haven't even costed it in but we love doing it so we do it anyway we don't mind but help us help you um and give us likes uh if you appreciate this kind of content uh more live streams says uh harris sohail danesta tezos tezos we see a sub one that's quite correct as he stated Kai says he's glad uh, that we're streaming and face only is good. BTC bottom uh, 23 store. So the key thing on BTC, the BTC, there's a, I have a, depending on what day, how far down, uh, I have different views. You know, many people say he says 12 grand. No, I don't. I say in the worst case scenario of extreme selling, that is one level that has been implied by a bear flag. There's a 15 grand that has been implied by a head and shoulder. And there's also a very key support right up at 25K which I think we will almost certainly run um, on the next bit of bad news. This doesn't seem to be the triggering event yet. Remember, later this evening, the market can just puke. But 25 grand is likely. Now, 25 grand was the key macro target that we got on a two and a half year, 2.5 years long upside HVF structure that had a huge pandemic spill down to an RL2 and bounce back that ended up running through that 25K, overperforming during that period. The dollar printed 7 trillion for COVID's relief, not only for itself, but for the world. Became a major exporter of dollars and the dollar was crushed during that period. And now you are seeing that every day there is a night, for every night there is a day, and now you're seeing this period of dollar strength. And during that same period, we've called for the oil price to collapse to single digits, low single digits. It hadn't been there since the 70s. It was at $63, $67, all through 2019, second half. And Q4, we called for it into Q1 when it happened on stage, pre-recorded. Major demand collapse led to a glut. You've traded negative for a while on futures. And subsequent to that, we said... That was your final spill for that energy is now going to be the most expensive thing. Who is the stubbornest, most strongest right now and the biggest component in inflation that is going to drive that CPI that's going to keep the heat on Bitcoin is oil. Oil trading, good fellows, oil trading and it's in everything. It's in plastics, fantastics, all your packaging, all your delivery from Amazon.com that took special precautions during COVID for washing hands and goods and parcels and ensuring that no viruses or any diseases or sicknesses could ever be passed on. You can buy safely from Amazon, but don't worry, your little store down the road, he needs to shut down. Okay, that guy, that guy and those guys, all those things rely on oil, packaging, delivery, everything, everything you purchase is an oil purchase, whether you are buying oil or not. And we have WTIII, Western Texas, intermediate, intermediate is how much sulfur is in the oil. Um, Brent, light, sweet, crude, don't drink it, but it's got less sulfur in the oil. That's what it means. That's what it means. And we're going to give you those oil prices because this is your indicator. And it took a little bit of a top. So we call to the community. We think this needs to be an RH2 on the oil price because it's close to the previous recent high. That was up top, 137s uh, for Brent. That's the UK oil on your trading view, which is what most of Europe runs off, even more expensive, needs less refining um, than Western Texas Intermediate. Western Texas Intermediate, your American oil, 121.57. That previous high was 129. We said you need to put a little cap on that and roll it over. That means you need dollar up 
CPI high so that interest rates are going to come in and you're going to kill even more demand and people are going to drive less, travel less, fly less, less purchases on Amazon, less purchases of packaging. 302 lights out of 469. That's a record. Thank you, guys. Muchas gracias. Um, we appreciate it and we're grateful. Always, always, always. Uh, simple act. It's a small act, but there's many of you and it helps algorithm. It gets us more subscribers. It helps us help you. So that looks like on this data, we could put in that high. And that was the, the pre-record that I did for the community in terms of what we expect, because we want to get long oil again, but now is not the time. Going into a strong CPI number that's going to see more talk about interest rate hikes. Now was not the time to go long equities, particularly Kathy Woods, oh, elongated muskiness, Tesla, Tesla, Tesla. None of those should be bought right now. So major demand killing uh action when interest rates go up let's have a look at some of those questions craig craig wright is probably satoshi no one said i had to like satoshi uh okay <laughs> uh, a lot of people will disagree i don't care about fairy tales full stop um let me tell you all of crypto is an on-ramp all you need to understand crypto is an on-ramp for capturing the most cynical libertarian orientated people into the new financial system which in the end Stage two will be central bank digital tokens. So getting you digitized is getting you off cash. It also keeps you out of gold and silver. Everything they want you out of, you should want. Cash, gold, and silver. <laughs> Simple. But the pumper mentors will still come to crypto. You want to make money too, I understand. Um, but do not have belief systems about liberation through crypto. I am liberated. Crypto fix, Bitcoin fixes everything, man. I tell you, it fixes everything. I was sore this morning in the lower back, and then I shifted some Bitcoin out of my wallet, and then I was like, way. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know what I mean? No, 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 you don't want that. SPX, down, down, down. We need more of a sell-off. People thinking that's it, that's it. Bottom callers, bottom callers. Too many bottom callers. Not enough pain, not enough bleed. I need to see misery. I need to see forlorn emptiness of all forms of hope. That has not happened yet, but it's coming. And I don't want it to happen. And I'm not laughing at people. I am mocking the central bank cartel. We use gallows humor for mental health. Mental health is gallows humor. Laugh at the, the, the serpents that beguile you. Okay. Is there a mega squeeze USD JPY going since the 80s with target 178? We, I will hold yen, in my personal opinion, through 200. We have a technical target at 136. Uh, that's soon to be run. We've been in since 107. Um, we're expecting overperformance. We've got CAD JPY. We've got Aussie JPY as well as a little bit, but it's generally different ways of trading commodities against the yen. You can also go long USD WTI. Not now because we think a localized high might be in. You get a bit of a pullback uh, to hedge your dollar longs and go uh, USD JPY long 100 grand and then long 100 grands of oil. That means you are long oil, short yen. They have to import all commodities. They're going up in price. Their currency is going down in value. They are trying to hold up their 269% of GDP debt market because every single freaking pensioner did the right thing and bought their government's debt. What a dumb, dumb situation. They're not paying nothing yield, and they need to pay nothing yield on it because the government can't afford to pay real yield if the prices started to go down and the rates started to go up. So they're keeping up the Ponzi scheme, and they call that yield curve control you see that's called manipulation <laughs> that's trying to hold up a bullshit market uh and you print money to do it and that's how you kill your currency to devalue your jet so you pass all the devaluation and all the, the the cost of that onto your citizens through inflation because guess whose inflation rate is going to be the next highest after my friends in euro land and their natural gas japanesey squeezy squeezy discretional buying toyotas might get cheaper um, but the overall wealth effect of a strong currency is now being reversed on the Japanese yen. And they will hit new records in inflation numbers. You can't have a currency that loses that much and not find that lots of things start costing a bunch more. Uh, silver might go 18, but you won't find any to buy. That's the truth. It's going to be harder to get. The lower the paper price, the bigger the premiums. The actual change in price will be less. But there will be four sellers and you will be able to get it slightly cheaper. But silver is a game you can't afford to not be caught without your metals you can't be afford caught out 
without your metals, by the way. 352 likes on 497. That's awesome. Thank you so much. We are running at almost uh, 70, 71% there. I've never had numbers like this before. I love you. I love you. I love you. Uh, it's great stuff. Bitcoin is holding for how long? So that's the other thing. You've got to remember, what's the day today? Friday. You're going to go into a weekend, thin volume markets. Who's going to want to wade in big with some Fed mouth ready to squawk about inflation's getting out of hand uh, and how we need to do more? Uh, I don't think so. This is going to be a real nervous weekend. You could have some absolute thin volume spillers, some real thrillers on the Malaysian airline all the way from Manila. Uh, this one not dropping into the sea, uh, making it all to me. Uh, and you could be making profit on that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Three bags full. So what else do you want to know about, guys, while we're here? Too many are short in Bitcoin. They can be right for a while longer, I'm afraid. Uh, there's actually a rather large amount of um, buyers. Uh, JP Moore said Bitcoin is a buy. By the way, some positive news for crypto friends. We are a crypto channel. We don't always want to puke. We just tell it out how it is when it's bad times and bad things are coming. We tell it how it is. But one element of positive news for Bitcoin people, I want to hear it. Uh, I want to highlight to you, rushing up to the Bitcoin charts over here, that BTC against the tech guys, that's the IXIC, is actually holding up. So it hasn't broken down significantly. It has since the news traded down. That's on a 12-hour candle. So the 12-hour candle is red. But overall, so far, it's in a squeezy, squeezy against tech. Can it this time not go down as much as tech, even if they both go down? Can it go down less? That would be a flippening of its relative perception because at the moment it's been perceived weaker than nasdaq high beta tech stocks so you want that to change and you are seeing that it's holding so there's a little breath of hope but that can be as i say uh, falling off a waterfall and just not falling as fast as the fat kid um remember it's still not a great position to be in Yields aren't going up. They had the news before the news. The debt market was the one thing when I did the premium update that weren't validating uh, the fact that the CPI number would be a miss. That's a cheat. I'm telling you, up front, they knew it. There's no way under any normal circumstances, if they were waiting for the news, like you and I was on this time, that they would not, uh, they would not suddenly uh, adjust the rates. There's no way at all that that wouldn't happen. I can absolutely assure you guys uh, that is very, very suspicious that you have a major miss. That's the difference between 8.4% and 12% annualized and the bond markets get bought. Why? Because they're so scared that if people reacting it all started to sell it, they all prepared to do a major pump so that it just is confusing and wrong and all the shorters go, hey, I better stay out. There's a real wave of force. Let me tell you, they either had that number before and it's baked in or they're doing plunge protection. And, and if you have any doubts about plunge protection, I can tell you it's official. It's official in equity. So you can be absolutely sure in a debt-based system where they want to control when they pull the tent down on everybody, it exists in the bond market too. <coughs> junk, junk in an inflationary environment where you've got crap companies that aren't making real profits that have borrowed at extortionate prices. How on hell are those companies, the bulk of them not going under? Junk debt should be puking, 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 puking. And it is not. Don't forget, the Fed stood behind. H-Y-G. The Fed stood behind. H-Y-G last time in the COVID spiller. They said they will do it. Why did they do that? Such a small insignificant event for people in crypto. Why should I even care? Because it's a debt-based system and the failure of the debt system is the failure of the entirety of the game. And they're not yet ready to do the central bank digital tokens. They weren't in March 2020. They're probably pretty damn ready soon. I think it's coming. So as a result, what did they do? They supported the shittest part, the weakest part, the fraying edge of the debt market, which was junk debt. Because if that starts to spill, it's contagion into all debt. And as those failures, there's knock-on effects onto others. So it goes down, 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 and down. Um, and so they stood behind it. What job 
does a federal reserve, not federal, not a reserve, a private banking cartel holding up the worst part of the debt market do? They stopped contagion and they stopped the old system dying. It's ready to die. They need their new system out. So that was a little bit on junk debt. Let's have a look where the HYG is trading today. Again, oh, it's actually coming off. So they supported TLT with a bid, but HYG is down. So it's doing more of what it should be doing. So that's actually quite interesting. HYG, HYG, high yield debt ETF. Yeah, fall, you bastard. You are garbage. You know you are garbage. You should fall. Um, but the yield rates had a little bit of a skittish candle. I think they want to top it out at the 3%, just north of the 3%. We have a little bit of a pullback on yields. After a while, we're going to set up a wind-up. Let me tell you the next break on yields. So this is really important. If you watch the Market Sniper channel, and this is real relevance, beautiful people, real relevance. Hit the like button if you love to be called a beautiful person. Hit it right now. Let me see how many. One, 386. How many people love to be called beautiful people? Uh, this 3% is such an important number. It is such an important number when you get this inverted long, super low rate stimulus period. So I'm talking a monthly chart. The last time we fell long term behind the uh, below the 3%, let's get that weekly or is it daily chart, was way back in. Way back in, he says, getting the chart and looking. We've come up and resisted in it so many times. This time we are to break it. That's why I think we'll top out now, form a wind-up. So we properly traded below 2011. You've been in a hyper stimulatory interest rate environment like this. Pull your muscles right the way through, all the way through, just to support a broken economy. Just to support a broken economy. You've come up in 2014, you were resisted at the 3% level. You come up again. Uh, in 18, you were resisted. You went straight into the collapse that was the thing that may not be mentioned, right the way down to 0.37. This time, you have come up to the 3%. You sold off. You made 3.2. You've come back up. We are squaring up. We're going to do a squeezy, squeezy Japanese, a hunt volatility funnel set up, and that's going to spike yields. And then it's going to run. It's going to overperform, and it's going to be an inverted uh, pattern structure reversal of some form because it's ugly as sin, uh, and it's going to continue to the upside. That's going to be a runaway in yields. How does the dollar destroy every other currency? You get a super spike in interest rates by the loss of control on the debt markets that makes the dollar the most attractive place to hold currencies. You get a super spike up to 5 6%, uh, maybe not as high, 3.9%, whatever, 4.2%. Everybody's money rushes into dollars. They dump everything else they have. The bond markets are being allowed to fall. Yields go up. Uh, and as a result, you get a sell of all the other currencies. And then you've already got the Turkish lira in failure. So what you get is a super spike. You get the USD Korean won spiking. Americans have stopped buying international uh, goods on any meaningful scale because they've been crushed by interest rates. They are big lenders. They, they usually don't have more than $500 to $1,000 uh, to hand if they had to pay. If they don't have the access to their credit. It's, it's a sad fact that the average American, not the ones watching this channel, who are wiser, smarter, better off, but generally the average dude um, and family is living under a bridge. If you have 60 grand a year, you're living under a bridge in America because you've got 80 grand in debt, you've got a $500,000 mortgage, you've got everything under the sun. Okay, let's have a look at some of your comments. If you buy a house now, household income to house value ratio is at its highest. That's an interesting point. Uh, very, very high. And by the way, on that housing element, that was higher than dot com of building on the point that was made by GLT. It's higher than the, the, the property bubble highs. Uh, because I've seen the same chart I believe he's referring to. Which online gold vaults are preferred for digital nomads? Yes, I know physical is better. So we have uh, by intro vaulting guys that are not taking any politically exposed people. They call them pips. They do not have any. Uh, they are in a a special free trade zone protected by an American protectorate in the country of Panama. You will be introduced to them. I will and do vault with them. They already hold uh, cash and 
uh, a rather nice watch of some value um, and my bullion will be arriving. In fact, I might even be com contacting community members and dumping my uh, silver in another location soon to be disclosed on the travel so that I can buy it back elsewhere. They also do bullion vault swaps. Uh, I will give community members first choice and they will buy for not much of a spot, uh, probably spot anyone in that country. Uh, and they will get bars, coins and everything. And I will relocate with those funds uh, to this particular place. Uh, very high confidence, a mile and a half down the road from me. I know the four directors, uh, honest, straight security. They've got zombie apocalypse scheme uh, in terms of uh, airplanes out there on an airfield, basically. It's an ex-US Air Force base. So you will you will learn uh, more if you want. Uh, contact us. Consider taking us up on our research life of propositions. Very useful to have inside a company or with a foundation. So you can be entirely anonymous because they won't like it when you protect your wealth. USD Korean won is pumping. That would be good news. Let's have a look at the Korean won. Had a pullback. Um, and, you know, eventually when the yen goes into absolute... It's already done a seven sigma plus, and it's doing more on top of that. And it will run 136 on balance of probabilities on an HVF, which is very high probability in our opinion, um, and then go on to overperform, as I said, 200s. Uh, I think it's going to get crazy. I think you're going to see why I have been saying for an extended period that crypto markets are, the, the FX markets are the new crypto markets. Korean one is properly shifting. You are absolutely right. It is going like a Boeing. And I'm so frustrated. I've got my simple FX and they're not allowing me to trade. I was trying to add a couple more earlier this morning. Um, and they have these weird hours on that particular exchange. But you can also do it with IG Index if you're in the UK, CMC, possibly. I'm not sure. Um, yeah. So, yeah, you'll have to watch watch that one. Watch that one. Uh, but we do use simple FX. Some guys said, yeah, they're based in some funny jurisdiction. Um, I get that. Uh, many of the brokers are. Uh, counterparty risk is high with anything. You know, I think things could get extreme, that there is a possibility brokers can fail. Uh, so in some senses, but big names won't necessarily protect you. We could have wholesale failure. They don't want you to profit or benefit out of this situation. So you've got to bear in mind, there's risks with that. There are risks with everything. Um, okay, so USD Korean one was where we left off. TBT EFT, Louis Patterson. TBT EFT, he says. I'm not too sure what that is. Uh, let's have a look. Go, you Korean one. 1277, by the way. 1300 it will be the if it crosses 1300 on the korean one my friends melt up time is here and it will be a blow off to end all blow offs uh tbt e, i think he meant etf but maybe he didn't tbt let's go all pro shares ultra short lehman 20 year treasury i don't know what you are looking for there but uh I think you said ETF, but you said EFT or something. I'm not too sure. So, yeah, re reprint it. You've got to be – I'm also only on trading. I don't have a Bloomberg screen at the moment. Turkish Lira. What about the Turkish Lira, says somebody. Yeah, we can have a look at the Lira, the Lira, the Lira. Ah, oh, the new Luna is the Lira. The Lira is the Luna. Lucy, try – what well, spiked actually to 17.29 but this baby is yeah it's going to be it's going to be ugly and it's going to get worse but it might have some pullbacks at some point it's trending but it's not uh it's not in the blow off it had a blow off and a dump it's just an aggressive uh move up but you've got to watch your uh costings on that usd jpy i i 133.9 Making money on the yen. Very close to that first HVF target. Uh, people laughed when we posted this. Uh, I'm going to put this up through Twitter. I'm going to take a picture of this, literally. People laughed at 107s and 108s. We said 136. It is already here. It will probably have some form of rest after that. That's why HVF targets are significant. And then it will run again. Run again. Why? Because inflation. And inflation means more interest rates, which means stronger dollar. I hope everybody gets that. Stronger dollar. 
stronger dollar. They will kill the other currencies on a stronger dollar. We have the timing. Uh, Brent Johnson had the theory. We have the timing of when it was going to happen. And we realized uh, that he is probably correct. And it's totally counterintuitive to what's happened before. It'll fool many people. USD JPY. Yep. At 133.9. What a runner it has been. What a runner. This is terrible news for Japanese people, by the way. Pensioners. Their money is just not going to go as far. And the interest rates they're being paid on their they were biggest buyers of Japanese debt. So they trusted Japanese government. The least person you should ever trust with anything about your financial future is your government. And I think you should never consider them your government. The government that has been appointed to serve over you, your localized cartel representatives, the Gestapo over your prison warden self. That is the framing for government. That is the framing for government. Don't go, oh, but hospitals and roads. No, 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 no. You paid for that 15 times over. Your forefathers paid for it. Everybody's paid for it. Wars, in blood, in taxes, in absolutely everything. You are being scammed. You are being scammed by the scammers in chief. They hate people like me that t tell you that. They are mafia-run thugs. Uh, they are part of a cartel. You should be very, very careful. So let's just put that JPY target up there. What does that have bearing on for crypto? It is the problem of the dollar strength. And when I say dollar strength, I'm not a fanboy of any fiat currency. It will end, but it'll end after a super spike. We said 136 at 107. Many laughed. Here we go. CPI is what? 1%. Month on month, you're kidding me. That is the better part of 12% year on year, 12% per annum. More interest rate rises. Uh, boy, oh boy, it's going to be a tough old time. It's going to be a tough old time indeed. Uh, dollar dominance, guys, dollar dominance, but it'll take turns. And you've got to remember that other things will wait and pause and hold for a while and then they'll fall. No screen share today, Khan. This is a Jesus Loves You presentation, says John O'Cook. Um, when BTC Moon, after the spill that will break all of you, they want to get you to let go of as much of it as possible. And they're going to do great pain until you can't eat. Then they, once you've sold your final Satoshi to feed, to pay the rent, to do everything, to keep the rioters from your door in bullet rounds, whatever then they will pump the Bitcoin and you will watch it go with nothing in it. That's what they want. I'm here to stop that. But I'm warning you, it's going to be hard. You've got to build income. You've got to build balance sheet. You've got to hold assets. Interesting how gold and silver actually sold off on the initial news and got a, a, a pump, a little bit of a run. This is time, guys. Everyone smart is going to be buying uh, the dips on gold and silver. Remember, we always said have a stable of horses. Uh, some people went full exponential everything. For the whole exponential, the great digital experiment, you first have to kill the old donkey that's been carrying all your luggage to transfer it onto this new stallion and steed. And you've got to watch it die to validate and carry the slow people over from the one system into the new system. That is what's happening. Uh, we said 167 target, then further overperformance after arrest. That's it. And that's your chart. I will share it for those that want to stream. CPI 1%. Wow. I just can't get over that. Let's send that. It's going through the market sniper and the crypto sniper. Let's put it on the crypto sniper at the crypto sniper. So what other questions do you have for me before I run? What do you want to know? Where? What wisdoms can I share? And remember, there will only be my take on the current uh, circumstances. USDINR, says the man. USDINR. Now, that is the Indian rupee. Now, the key thing about all of this is that the dollar should be dominant on all currencies. Dollar dominance. Dollar dominance. And he's asking, would it be any different for the rupee? 
And I'm here to tell you it's very little different. It's very little different for anybody. The Indian rupee. Where are you from in India? Well, it's a melt up. It's a great, it's a great long. 77.97. You will see deep into the hundreds, I'm afraid to say, as part and parcel of your lyrification. And this is a long-term trender. It is ugly. It is ugly. And it's only going to get worse. My Indian friends, you will know inflation. And you have the key and it's gold. And tell government as little about it as possible. Tell government as little about it as possible. Wear shirts, wear items, have cups, have everything made in silver and gold. The more demonetized it is, the better. Have a chair made out of silver. It's healthy for you. It's furniture. They can't confiscate furniture. They can confiscate money. So non-numismatic. What happened with your cot indicator? The cot indicator lost its relevance once the numbers and the reporting changed. It's lost its relevance and there are bigger drivers and we are focusing on those bigger drivers. Something that was relevant at one point ceased to be relevant because what's actually happening is the supply has dropped so much in Bitcoin. The institutional buying is uh, the main driver and the cot indicator and the change in the reporting of numbers has lost its impact. That happens. You have something that's an indicator for a while and then it ceases to be a good indicator for a while. Um, that's pretty much where you're at on COT. What's your estimated timeline for implementation of the cashless society? Read the World Economic Forum goals. It's all in that. Hoard cash, by the way, and keep the bank slips that you withdrew it from so that they can't say that's untaxed income and you pick up tax bills. So have paperwork. F will drop as well. Indeed, if BTC drops, the US dollar is not backed by sufficient gold. No. Have cash and accumulate gold and silver. Nav Sidhu. Yes, the bullish case is for gold and silver. Hashad is very strong and it will be coming. And it's getting closer. By the way, what's happening on gold and silver? You can't the countries are tightening up on their citizens crossing borders. These are the, my uh, providers' whisperings and ears. In other words, if you have metals, you can't just move with them. They go, oh, yeah, but, 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 but that can't come with you. In other words, they see your metals as their balance sheet. What does that tell you? What does it tell you when governments that don't say so officially see your metals and your things as their balance sheet? But hold on, that's my stuff and I'm going. Isn't it simple like that? Possession, it's mine. I bought it. I'm going with it. Bye. No, 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 no. Well, well, well. What does that mean? What does it mean to you? I know what it means. Whoops, the total two. Just getting alerts now. So some things are now moving. Could find that crypto is not enjoying that. Folks are starting to sell. Sell, sell, sell. Down, down. For all those long, I'm real sorry, but we've been saying defense, defense, defense from 55k Bitcoin. Defense, defense, defense. This is not the time. This is not the time. This means money and profits for those that acted. Total two, down, 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 down. Key alert triggered. You heard it squeak like a little mouse's tail that I just stood on. Um, it's not a huge move. I had them pretty tight, but it's starting. This is rejection. This is ugly. It's still rejection. That has Ethereum in it. What's Total 3 doing? Total 3 is in an inverted HVF and breaking down. Let me share that with the community, guys. Charts straight into the community. There she goes. It's starting a tip. Community members, you know what that means. Here's your draw. Go look on the leaders. Chart link right here. Let's go and put it in there. Sniper circle. WhatsApp type functionality. Easy to use without the WhatsApp praying and spying. We do not use Discord, Slack, Telegram, any, any, any macro oligarchical uh, platform. We only use a custom platform that is made for us. Your details are not shared. Information we discuss is confidential. It is not captured by the likes of any of those. And it costs a lot to put together. So right now we're seeing this is this is live now. So you're getting that delayed reaction that I warned right now on those. If I pivot over to, and I'm not going to be showing you, 
But way suddenly we're making money. Money. Buy gold and silver without money. We're making money. Oh, Ripple. Ripple that we shorted. Which Ripple that we shorted is now starting to pay as well. Maker is paying out of its nose. That is good news. The shorts shall win the day. Eat my shorts, he said. That was Bart, wasn't it? No Bart's. No bots. It's a it's a it's a it's a low maintenance hairstyle, but the the shorts are winning. And we we did the stream because we said this was happening. We wanted people to know before it happened that this was likely to happen. We came on here to tell you 15 minutes before. You could have heard earlier, but but you won the free views, but you got told nonetheless. Hit the like button if you like it when you get told the market's about to spill. Someone comes and says, It's my best guess, the market's gonna go down. Hit the like button if you like that fact. We think that the CPI is going to be overs. Was it overs? Yes, it was. We think that's going to bring the crypto market down. Did the crypto market turn down? Yes, it is. We think it's going to be doubly bad for uh, alts. Is it doubly bad for alts? Spiller, thriller, all the way from Manila. Total two, hitting alerts. Total three, hitting alerts. That's what's happening right goddamn now. Why? Because of the CPI. I, I. What's that doing? It's going to push the dollar stronger. Did it push our USD JPY higher? Yes, it did. Did it stop the oil from going significantly higher when it's at a relative high too? Yes, it did. These things are happening. This is an unbalance of probability assessment. Every single one of those things are happening, but you only have to get the core major model. We do not think on individual markets. We look at a system. We look at the system and think, what do they want? That is the value, guys. www.themarketsniper.com. That is where you get real macro thinking about why this is such a seminal moment. And this is important to get the key moves right. And this is going to be downside. The link is there. It's real simple. You can go and book and have a chat and be in our call. You could have got this feel earlier. We are making money on the shorts. I don't even have particularly massive positions. It's already it's already like on one, one platform alone. You know, you make 50 grand in a day. It's good money. That's from fresh shorts here, not from the original ones that you could have held right from the top. Why aren't you doing it? Make their Ponzi scheme pay you instead of dying and stumping up your assets at the bottom for fuck all, for money, food, and rent. Why aren't you doing it? Why aren't you doing it? It's clear what they have to do. They have to break the system. They're breaking it on inflation. Inflation numbers will keep on coming and higher. They will turn the interest rates up higher and higher. They will cause destruction in demand. They will squeeze everybody. The consumer will go to ground. Everything's going to cost a bundle. There's probably riots and all sorts of nastiness to come. Be prepared. Be reset ready. And build a stable Build a stable of real assets that are physical, that can't be taken off to you. Digital is their metaverse solution of prison, where compliance, digital certificates, medical records, ergo, we're coming for, in a few months, three months' time, the autumn of a northern hemisphere. Watch what will come back in there. All these things will be on the agenda again. Prepare yourself. Arbitrage, different solutions. Where can I live? Where can I, how do I store my wealth? How do I see this through? How do I protect my family? You are the bastions, the masters. You are the destiny. You are the, 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 the captain of your own ship. Make decisions. The storm is a coming. Make decisions. It is blowing. It has been all around. Um, and this is a great day for me and a horrible one for a bunch of hodlers. A bunch of hodlers in hex that might end up with less than a cent who've watched a round trip to 51 cent. A bunch of hodlers in maker that saw 4,500 and may hold all the way back down to 200. A bunch of hodlers in all forms of varieties before they go again later and they have no money to get back in it. Because at the same time, at the very bottom of that market, they've also lost their job. They've had a wage cut back. They've had uh, all sorts of increases on their rent because of inflation. They've had all sorts of nasty shit happen, which are typical and all come together. They come in threes. They come a lot because it's inflation. And you are being hit on a compounded basis like never before. If you are not positioned for it, you will be destroyed. This is where we are. What to do if you don't have $100 and live in Lagos? 
secure yourself a piece of land, grow fruit and veg in great African soil, make sure you are self-reliant on food and you will at least survive. Learn a skill of value and give that value out unto others as soon as it may occur. Euro, Swiss franc, it will still fall. First, we are dealing with the Asians. This is Japan. Japan put a, a mark, a cross on its head. It did this and said, shoot me here. And it is by virtue of its debt position and its policies are dragging the Asians into the FX crash first. Of course, there's FX emergings like the lira and the ruble that we've already discussed that have done it. The ruble have done the most sensible thing in the, the world and will become stronger. The Turkish will continue to weaken. The other FX emergings are going to run into trouble. However, you will di differentiate between those that have oil, those that grow commodities, they will get some support, and those that have gold. So it might take a while. The Eurozone will follow the Asian uh, Asians, and it has already started. So it's piece by piece, but it's had a period of strength because the ECB will do a 0.25% rate in July on a 37% producer price inflation. How about that? How about that? That is kind of like um, putting a one horsepower uh lawnmower engine and expecting to take off a 747 you are going to crash into the wall at the other end of the runway my friend you aren't lifting nothing with that okay that's what uh euroland did so please the questions on europe it's coming it's coming it's all coming it's all coming you have to learn patience in trading and you have to see which ones are getting the attention now which ones have done the dumbest of dumbest because it's a relative this is a, a beauty contest in a leper colony who is the absolute ugliest? We're going to get to them all. They're all dead. <laughs> but you've got to understand, some die sooner. And you are picking them off slowly. So put all your resources behind the one that has shown it's the ugliest and the sickest right now. And I'm telling you, of the major currencies with real liquidity, with very low differential carry costs because the interest rates are very close to each other. You have the USD JPY. It's easy to hold and it's dying. And people will go, oh, well, it's done a lot. I'll take profits. I'll short it the other way. No, no. This is trending secular into super spike market. That's going to shock everybody. Every news media place will say, I never saw this happening. Oh, I don't know why the ruble strengthened, said a Harvard professor. Well, I sure do. I got an idea. <laughs> anyway, so, you know, they're going to act as stupid as all hell. Whoops, more alerts going. Where are the alerts coming from? What's pinging? Oh, dear. Tenure is now suddenly moving, crossing the 3.1. The U.S. tenure is crossing the 3.1. That means the yields are now rising. The debt markets are suddenly responding. Whoops, we don't like it. We don't like it. Oh, we don't like that. Oh, inflation. Oh, more interest rate hikes. Oh, we are going to have to demand more yield. Our, our, our bonds are devaluing. We're going to have to pay a higher yield. Nobody wants to buy our crap, of which endless supply. Yet the law of supply and demand never brought the price down. And the supply of bonds should have been super, super cheap. Instead, they've been held up by the world pension systems. Those pensions are bust. That's your future UBI start point when all the elderly worth debt in their pensions all fall apart and realize that they are holding nothing. Vaporware. They were lied to. They were cheated. They will be sold a new deal. Your brand new deal is have your COVID certificate up to date. Have your vaccine certificates up to date. Comply and don't be mean on social media. Never criticize government. And we'll give you some of our specially created central bank cartel tokens, providing you comply to our every uh, medical request um, and do exactly as we tell you when you tell you. And if we ever do anything we don't like, or if we decide there's too much inflation, we'll just reduce everybody by a certain amount. How about that? This is your new money system. Welcome to Bolshevik communism, brought to you by the same people that slaughtered all Orthodox Russians, the same people that did the Armenian genocide, the same people that push war and always succeed in bringing in inflation after war. There's lost nothing like shooting pieces of lead into the jungle to generate inflation. Yes, thank you very much. Uh, let's have a look at... That spiller, total two, spiller, total three, spiller. It's rolling. We're triggering. We are going. You're watching it happening. This is a news-based event. We came and told you 10 minutes before it would happen, and it's happening. Now you're watching it. Where's that debt market? Let's go and have a look. Debt markets, debt markets. Down, down, down. All the way. Yields up, up, up. Here we go. 10-year yield. This is a benchmark, a benchmark of debt. 10-year yield. 
and it's at a surge. Oh, it's at a surge. Nice, nice pop. Why did it wake up? Did it not read the news? So here's me saying, these guys are falling asleep. They're going the wrong way. What's happened? Suddenly, now it wakes up. It's like if someone suddenly went, oh, so the CPI, she's bad. What were they doing? What were they doing? We were here watching it. We're a YouTube channel with a fucking internet connection. And we we're saying, should be going up? <laughs> Instead, it went down. Now, hey, this should be going up. Okay. I mean, are we really that switched on? Are we really? Is everyone else so stupid? No, don't let them tell you it. They're not that stupid. This is just how it rolls. This is just the insanity of markets. Oh, yeah, I love it. I love the smell of napalm in the morning, along with my post toasties. It's neither the morning, there's no napalm, but I still love it. Because we position for it. Because we position for it. There is no breath required. I have mega lungs, Mr. Priest. Don't leave us. <laughs> Cry CRV target. CRV is what? A shit coin on crypto? Down. Euro Swiss franc. Is it turning over again? Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. No, it's, it's okay. It's nothing doing. It. Nothing's too spectacular there. So the Dixie. Dollar. Surge. Dixie surge. 103.99. That tells you the euro is slipping. This is a big move on the Dixie. What's in the Dixie? Euro, yen, Swiss franc, British pound. How's the pound doing? Uh, trapped between the euro and the dollar. Not that great, I'm guessing. GBP USD. Spiller. Absolute thriller. Grind line running through the base. If I'd looked at that chart uh, before, before this news, I would have called it. There's a nice ass uh, flag there, right there. That's a spiller. Sorry, British people. You're not going to be saved any of the indiscretions that are going to happen to Euroland. You're going to be in the mix as well. Yep, that's what's happening, guys. Currencies are moving. Cryptos are going to sell off. Dixie, you saw it happening, guys. I told you this data matters. You've got to understand the major markets. No charts today. You have to put up with my beautiful complexion and my four-hour shadow. That's all you're getting today. You're getting me giving you my best, thinking about what I said on that screen. If you would like the live stream with the charts, with the charts, you have to make sure you hit the like button and give us two shares. And we will plug in before I leave again, because I'm traveling while I still can. The freedom of movement tax. A nasal raping and seventy-five dollars. Did I tell you? I got. I had an operation I needed to do, uh, and the doctor was negative, uh, positive, so I couldn't have the operation when I was supposed to have it. And then I, I was uh, supposed to go in the second date, and then they chose me to be positive this time. And then I said, "That's be bullshit by my reckoning." And I took another test almost straight away with a three-hour turnaround time for twice the cost. And surprise, surprise, I was cured. Isn't that interesting? Sick for $75, spend another $150, cured. This is, this is financial medicine, I tell you. So, you know, I went and did my, my operation anyway. Um, that is it. We are making money, guys. You should be making money. This CPI was going to be a triggering event for us, a key fundamental event at a key level. Hit the like button, hit us a share. 500 of you watching, we're delighted to have you all. Keep it coming. TheMarketSniper.com. How you save yourself in these criminal times. The Market Sniper. 1S.com. Book a call. Do it now. Join our amazing community, our social areas, our crypto areas, our USD long areas, which is FX, our equity areas. Every element that is there. This is a harvesting. Let me tell you, it's a polarizing time, guys. There are people that are going to come out of this very well off. I'm telling you, they're not going to be the majority, but very well off because they understand what's going down. You can take yourself up a next level if you understand what they're going to doing and you know how to position. If you don't, if you sit around wondering and saying, oh, it's terrible, paralyzed by fear. The deer that is deer in headlights gets shunted by a four by four and has all four of his legs broken and is thrown into the rednecks truck 
at the back and is barbecue meat. The deer that hustles and jumps into the bush on the other side of the road lives, thrives another day, and is a little bit smarter about the way the world works. You can decide which kind of a deer are you. I'm watching the GBP. It's slipping. It's in a spiller. This is gaining momentum now. This is happening. We're talking Dixie through 104 now. Through 104. It's in a melter. It's like, what happened to everybody? Why are they waking up now? And... It's going to happen too on the cryptos. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Cryptos. Where's Tesla? Tesla. Oh, who's got a cheeky couple of puts on Tesla? Oh, it's a little bit down. It's not a spiller yet. Maybe the market's on open. Let me check. US guys. Yeah, they're open. They're trading. Uh, I was hoping for a bit more given how the currencies are moving. Arc has spilt out of a bottom of a falling wedge. 41.7 after hitting uh, 47 on a uh, rally. So that's down $6. What else is going on? What else have we got going on the crypto markets? Crypto sniper, after all. Where is BTC right now? BTC is more solid than any of the others, but it has done a little 29 and a half dip. It's a key level. It's where it's been supported since 29th of May. It has stayed above this range. You can draw a flat line from the 29th of May at 29,500 all the way across. And it is now leaning on that floor with everything else going down, down, down. Everything else uh, going down, down now. Uh, the alts are the weak one, though. Bitcoin is stronger. We've called Bitcoin dominance. We've warned you. You hit 47 and a half. He gave you that dominance at 42.68. Guys, it's not a brag sheet. It's just you had the information. You had it later than the premium community did. And that's how it should be. But you didn't get it. At that way down at 42, we said you're broken. And we warned you before at around 39 that it looks like you're going to have a break to the upside. It's defensive time in crypto. It's never good. Web dominance is climbing. It means it's going less down than the others. You saw it. You saw it coming. You saw it coming. Hex is just holding on to five cents from five and a half. Crow, 16.8. It's let go of the 17. It's been in a squeeze at its legacy target of 19. Now, we also called down from... The better part of 50. It traded 50. Then next thing you knew, it was down at 19. That's right. You could have shorted at 42 on an inverted HVF. Now it is turning over and rolling again on another fractal of an HVF. It's got more downside. Why? Because interest rates are going up. Crow is a downer. It has just triggered. You've got inverted HVFs that we've been watching on so many crypto tokens, and they're all spilling. My community members are here. They know which ones they like. They're in them. You've got to be in them to win them. And you're watching a delayed reaction to terrible news. How was that not an immediate spill? What part of 1% took you an hour before you thought, that's garbage. That's real garbage. We have a problem. I mean, I don't get it. I mean, I don't get it. Why didn't they respond badly immediately? They waited. They waited. They waited. And they waited. And then now it goes. Maker, 1066 only $66 inside the four-digit numbers. We're going to drop to three-digit numbers. This traded four and a half, four and a half thousand at its highs. And you got called the short at two and a half thousand. And you were given a 275 between and $300 target on 2,500 on the YouTube channel. I take nothing down. Everything we got wrong, it's still there. Everything we got right, it's still there. You can go and look at it. Go and look at it. Wow, Crow looks, I mean, it doesn't even feel that late. I could jump in and put some more on. Uh, let me draw a quick target on Crow. Let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. How far does this next wind up go? Don't forget, you could still get overperformance on this. Nah, it's, maybe not. Maybe you shouldn't be greasy. Don't be greedy. Don't be greedy. Don't be overconfident. Don't be greedy. This is a spiller, it's a thriller. So we're doing we're doing a draw. You're gonna get you're gonna get a feel for what we do together inside our premium community. We do draws, we do a video media share. This is the draw, this is the learning, this is the setup. Let me draw it, let me draw it, let me draw it, and you can get the numbers. I will tell you the numbers. Try before you buy. So that points to 13 cents for me. 
from its current level where it's 16.8. Oh, look, it's not the biggest move in the world, that. Because it's a, it's a small little fractal. I'm looking at this on a two-hour time frame. And it's just triggered. And it's at 16.825 for me at the moment. And I would say you're going to see 13. So that's a, yeah, 3.8 over 16.8. It's roughly 4 over 70. It's kind of 20%, I would say. 20%. It's not the biggest. It's not super sexy, but I think it's decent. Make it getting a little bit of a buyback after a crash spill. A little bit of a... Tezos. Tezos sold off, uh, been relatively different structure, Tezos. It had a megaphone, but it has sold off quite badly from 2.3 to 2.0. But it's a different structure. It's not, a, it's not an inverted. The macro inverted is still good, but the short time frame one now and the hourly or two hourly is not one I would be entering now. So Crow for 20%, probably an easy find. Um, e Gold. Yep, that one made a target. I will send this one over as well. We had two back-to-back -back that made targets. Tactical trades. Tactical short trades. You don't even have to hold them all forever. If you're nervous, disposition you can take short, tight, risk trades. I will tweet this out. This is right down to an hourly. We don't encourage hourly chart trading, but I'll just show you what could have been done on an hourly. Bit of a funky uh, candle there. It's trading at 57. Elrond. Elrond uh, at 57 after being higher up, higher up, higher up, higher up. We discussed this one in our premium community area when it was a second setup. Take off that falling wedge draw, and we'll take a picture of this. And let me just remind it that one's coming home, so we'll draw that as well. It was a little bit 50 50, had a kind of falling wedge in it. It's gonna everything was dependent on what the CPI number was going to be. This is the triggering event. If rates are going up, it's bad for crypto, guys. Rates up, bad for crypto. Inflation up, bad for crypto initially until that whole thing pivots. Yeah, Cosmos is crashing, says uh, Crypto Amir. You can't see the chart. I will post it out on Crypto Sniper. I'm going to finish the draw first. We've had a couple in a row of inverted HVS on this fella. That is EGLD. And it goes by the name Elrond. It confuses the hell out of me because there's an Algorand, and that's just too much for my weak brain. Um couple of things made small time frame targets and may rally, actually. So you've got to be careful about just wading in late. N never risk more than you can lose. That means you should have a stop. Uh, a stop level. And you should know and write the check and feel the pain of that loss when you write that check and then say, I can, I can live. Don't look at the profit and say, I need more. Everybody wants more. Watch the risk. Everything on sizing is about how much you lose. You size for losses. You assume success, but you size for losses. Remember that. Key important message. So, yeah, I'm, doing, I'm just finishing the draw here on the other screen. And I'll take a snapshot and you'll show performing inverted HVFs. Yeah. Uh, target runs on small time frames. I think this might not turn into a major route yet. I think you might even get a rally after this. Bitcoin has not sold off immensely. It's leaning on its 29 and a half. We'll have to see what happens on the weekend. Bitcoin runs the 29 and a half and holds down below it. It's, I know it's trading 29.4. Uh, what, what, what I mean is it lets go of that handle properly, not just, just runs, just runs on wicks. If it runs that uh, completely then you've got a, a real issue on your hands there, fine fellas. Uh, then things could accelerate here. In the meantime, you may just have a small pause period as the market takes stock. Uh, 
Algorand doesn't look like it wants to go any further just now, right away, until there's a fresh impetus of momentum. So let's just show you. There I go. Put all the lines I want to put on there. I'm going to take a picture of it and I'm going to share it out uh, on the Crypto Sniper Algo, uh, El, 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 Elrond. Elrond. It's Elrond. Repeat 30 Elrons. I must remember Elrond. It's very confusing. Uh, Al Algo ran the other one. Um, it's pretty much a banker, I'm told, sort of profile of XRP and some of the others. Left us, Lynette Alden. I already made 10x. I am fine. I know I keep saying Algo ran, yeah. The Condano investments, um, yeah, look, Condano, uh, I think it, its day will come when all of this macro stuff is over. It has that possibility that it will be one of the stars. As I've said before, Binance token, surprisingly, has also been um, pretty good uh, relative strength-wise. But the point is, there's bigger forces at play here. There's bigger forces at play here. There's bigger forces at play. What else uh, do you guys want to know? Yes, yeah, someday. I think I think he's working with the system as well, which I'm not super keen on. But that's the new world we live in. So there you go. I've done that chart. I'll finish taking the picture there. A uh, couple of annotations for you. And you can go and watch. Go and follow the Crypto Sniper. And I will post it out right now. I'm also on LinkedIn, by the way. Uh, I don't communicate a great deal on there. But you can follow if you were a LinkedIn user. Uh, and, of course, the face ache um, that is Facebook. Um, what other questions do you have for me? BZL, USDT, Strong. GBP USD is, is a dipping. Let's have a look. Um, BTC dominance, 47.27. Little bit of churn, a little bit of fight back on some of the alts. So it's coming back off a little bit. GBP USD, uh, I've got a long list of things here. I've got to go to the other side of them to get down to currencies. Uh, pound. Where is it now? 123. It's absolutely throwing it. The British pound is dying. Where's my British pals? We're throwing it down, throwing it down, throwing it down. Yeah, it's awful. It's not good. Okay, let's post that chart. Let's just go the Elrond trades. Quick access. So remind your friends, tell your pals. Um, the Crypto Sniper uh, does the macro, the 360 degree analysis, the dollar, the FX, the all, which has become very important for crypto. So many guys, oh, stock to flow says we are a buy. He's been saying that for the last three months. How's the buy turned out? One day he will be right, um, trillion dollar, whatever. Um, but the point of the matter is, is not right now because there's other things that are affecting it that have nothing to do with crypto. Bitcoin is Bitcoin USD. Even though we are supposedly not in a fiat system, everything we do, we compare to the fiat system. That's the big problem that a lot of these people don't understand. The other half is the USD. The other half is geopolitic. And that's what's going down. Um, and in that essence, uh, that's what's happening. So here's your Elrond chart. Finally, EGLD at the Save It um, HVF inverted HVF trading. Um, there you go, and you've got your draw on the Crypto Sniper. Out it goes. So follow us there. Um, missing e-bike videos. E-bike videos about to start again uh, for probably a week, um, and then travel, travel, travel. Um, Electricity prices have doubled in England. Good luck with the, yeah, again, the inflation on that. Consumer sentiment coming in six minutes. We can watch that one in. Which consumer sentiment is that? Uh, I don't think that is today. Oh, hold on. Five o'clock. Premium, yes. 
58.1. So by the way, below 50 on consumer sentiment is, we'll wait for it. We may as well. We've hung on all this time. Six minutes, consumer sentiment. It's not as big as the CPI number. It's still significant. And uh, I think it will have come down some way. Thank you, Will. Yes, we'll try our best and our damnedest to keep you on the right side of things. We will be wrong on occasion. Why should electricity double? It has nothing to do with gas or oil. Uh, electricity is generated from all sorts of things, including coal burning, which is deeply ungreen, nuclear, which not enough people have been doing, uh, solar, which, uh, but I don't think greens in the UK have done much. Um, it's a Rockefeller tax. Remember this. They push a little bit of oil prices. They get to brag about, you've got to, you know, the Rockefeller tax. This is happening. That is happening. Um, it's, it's a tax on you. Energy is tax on the citizenry. It is an absolute net tax on it. And it's something they monopolize. It's kind of like it was the, it was before pharma, you know, the monopoly that is the pharma and how it's captured. Energy was captured before pharma. It was the original industry capture. All forms of energy. That's why they usually fall under utilities held by government, you know, and occasionally they privatize them and sell them to their mates for under the value. You know, it's, it's a scam. When will the effect come into Asia on the dollar, says Piyush? It's already there. What do you mean? Are you kidding me? Ask a Japanese man how much his loaf of bread has gone up. Gas does have a cost effect, yes. Last year I paid 150 per month electricity. Now I pay 320, says the revolutionist. And then, of course, Europe and the, uh, I think Britain to some degree is all in the carbon cartel. Those carbons are viciously uh, overlooked. This is a tax on a tax. So now you get charged. Hong Kong dollar will be wrong, wrong, wrong and suddenly very right. And I've got loads of it and I'm very confident. It's at the upper of the range and then it will suddenly melt up. It's kind of like the one with a bit more of a peg effect. And it's a bit like the Euro Swiss franc. Eventually these things won't be able to hold anymore. And it'll usually be by the spike and then they will rip and they'll be the all your Christmases in one day. You've got to be patient. When will I be bullish? China, India, Russia currency not depreciating as others. Uh, gold, gold, and gold. That would be my response. You don't need any dollar portfolio to, to begin. You can never start learning too soon. However, if you want to inactivate, you can inactivate on a five grand, a one grand, a 10 grand. But you have to do everything to scale and be exceedingly patient. And actually, it's good that you don't have too much money in the beginning. You want to not make mistakes in the beginning. It's not about making money. If you're too focused on making money, you're chasing to the end. It's kind of like if you go up to a girl and you just want to bang her and it shows. You've got to actually be interesting in a person. You've got to have an interest in her dreams, an interest in who she is, what she stands for, and then let the attraction come from that. If you just walk up to a pretty girl in the street and say, I would like to bang you uh, really hard into a trifecta of orgasms while pulling your hair and uh, machoing out, um, she's likely to shoot you between the eyeballs if she has a, a gun uh, or give you a real firm slap to the face. Uh, the whole concept of this is, Someone's attractive and in, intriguing to talk to and you develop and you understand and you learn. And if the, that continues, it leads somewhere. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Um, you've got to develop a skill and not be focused on money. If you're chasing money, money runs. If you focus on process and skill sets, money comes. Yeah, that's the difference. Yeah, so... We're waiting on the sentiment indicator, which is one minute away. And then uh, after a minor reaction on the American people's sentiment right now, as inflation rips to an official 12%, a probable 20%, um, shadow stats. I should check the latest number out of shadow stats. With these, these updates coming, actually, where's my shadow stat? Uh, we should give up on 16 and we should start talking. 20 is the new 16, I think. Shadow stats, uh, inflation. He's my man. 
<coughs> I trust on real facts. Gold BTC, uh, yep, yeah, it's an interesting chart actually. <coughs> so I'm a member with Shadow Stats. By the way, I pay money to be uh, members of lots of people's stuff. If there's intelligent, useful people that do good quality, sincere research, <coughs> you should take pride in um, seeing smart people and backing smart people with resources. Guys asking, what the fuck is a tri trifecta of orgasms? Good things come in threes, my friend. In fact, I think there should be a universal word for multiple orgasms. I, I think the, the phrase should be a festival of orgasms. These are things I think I ponder upon. The collective for orgasms. A festival. A festival. She had a festival of orgasms. Flushed to the cheeks. She blissfully clung to me, all doe-eyed and puppy-faced, following me around, making me Sam sandwiches at every will. Or is it ham sandwiches? That's what happens when people feel cared for and nurtured. A festival of orgasms will win you great favor with the lady in your life. It just sounds right. Why does the Oxford Dictionary not have this? I think somebody should submit it on my behalf. Anyway, we're digressing somewhat. Uh, the flash commentary, June the 20th. That's a bit impossible. <laughs> we're not there yet. Uh, let's see, what's the latest? Shadow stats, June 17th to 9th, posted the 7th of June. Inflation latest. Uh, GDP, money supply, da -da 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 what's the number? Give me the number, give me the number. Money supply, inflation. Let me just click on inflation. 50.2. And let me tell you, that 0.2 is trying to hold you into a non-recession. No, festival. A gaggle is for witches. Uh, a festival of orgasms. Sorry, I'm not, I'm not being usurped on that one. I think I'm superior. So, uh, da -da 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 CPI chart, what is the number? Hot linking, permissions, sheets. It's always sometimes a little difficult to find. Uh, wow, it's gone off the scale. Download Excel CSV file. I'm just looking for the top line number. Oh, well, let's download the CSV file. So right now, guys, the news. We're getting uh, other takes. Oasis is just a little bit uh, marshy uh, and a little excessively wet. A bit of damp is good, but um, drowning is not so good. I'm sticking with a festival. I think it's a... It's ups and downs and lights, camera action. Whoa, festival. It's right. It's right. I'm sorry. It's right. Um, but you're welcome to submit to uh, other, other contenders. It's quite fun. Um, wow, the pound. <laughs> it just keeps falling. Jesus. 123.5. So, to be clear, the British pound was at 126 on the 7th of June. It's 123. And I've just got an alert on the Bitcoin versus tech. So, is this positive, Bitcoin going down less than tech, or tech, uh, Bitcoin going down faster? So, I'm getting my alerts run on BTC, IXIC. This is the cross-comparable. Bitcoin is holding up better than tech. This means tech market is soft. This is impressive. This could be the flippening. So the downside on the macro token, not the alts, is less on crypto. This is a major important point. So everyone thinks I'm a mega bear. I'm giving you a reason why the rate of change in downside has gone from Bitcoin falling harder than the NASDAQ to falling less so at the moment. It is looking like that. And that's a good development. Even though you're continuing in real terms uh, against the fiat to go down, the minute you stop going down to the same beta level or faster than the NASDAQ composite index, we can have a full-blown overvaluation correction in the NASDAQ and Bitcoin only goes, eh, little pippy to the downside. 
And that's a big relative strength pivot from how it was before when you collapsed from 69 to 30,000 and had a halvening. You already took your 50% correction then. So that's a positive point uh, for people, as I say. I'm going to call it like I see it, not just be uber everything, 100% bear, want to depress everybody all the time. Yeah, so you may find in time some of the relative quality will be shown by those that go up first early or go down le less slow in the alt markets. So doing your ADA to IXIC, doing your BNB token IXIC. I know people don't like uh, centralized exchanges, but the smart chain has done well with uh, Solana bombing um, and it's shown itself to have some relative strength. So let's have a look uh, there, BTC, IXIC. To all those new joiners, 486 of you, we love it. We've got more than 100% of likes from people that have come on and off. Hit the like button. Um, and remember, the marketsniper.com, www, three Ws, one, two, three, dot, the marketsniper.com. Book a call to understand this world and environment and the process, how they take it down. Book a call. Talk to our awesome uh, fellow traders just like you and there is a self-study event plus you still get a live trading days every month plus a sunday session with our top gun best bestest bestest hvf traders of many many moons and aeons and eons with my stamp of approval plus uh myself on the live trading days uh so even as a self-study you can start learning the processes but this is positive for bitcoin um, this is reasonably positive that it's not going down as fast. I wonder what tech is doing. We're going to get the indices. Stoinks. What are the stoinky, stinky, stinky stoink market going to be doing? We want to know uh, NASDAQ. So let's have a look. Let's have a look. NASDAQ, NASDAQ. Is it a spilling its guts? It is properly overvalued. And I think the time will come when that starts to reflect. And actually, Bitcoin will be doing relatively well. Oh! NASDAQ open gapped through my head and shoulders. That's another land for the indice trading. Look at that beauty. Got to take a picture. Share the link to the sniper community. Yep, buddy. Yep, buddy. Who knows Ronnie, who Ronnie Coleman was? You'll know where that comes from if you know who Ronnie Coleman is. Ain't nothing but a peanut. Lightweight. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he's, he's, he's a character. He's one of the great characters of the sport. If you know, you will know. You will wink in the column and say, Sniper, I does know what you're referring to. Yeah, his body lightweight, baby. Smash him. We've seen the NASDAQ being smashed. And Bitcoin is not being smashed by the same degree. This is a development. This is how... Faint little teensy weensy green shoots pop their little minuscule heads above the ground level as future indicators for eventual bottoms. That doesn't mean run in and buy now. It just means less bad than where previously was worse than. Okay. That is, a, you're still driving fast in the wrong direction, but it means the accelerator is not flat to the floor anymore. There's somebody else who's overtaking you going to shit town and it's going to get there before you where before you were the fastest and you were heading yep where's our where's my mate my best mate mr hunter who is uh telling everybody about the 50 60 percent moon in equities i'm a contrarian no you're not you buy the damn dip it's the most it's a 40 year mean you're not contrarian you're not contrarian saying buy the damn dip. Yes, we all know the Fed will pivot. They've got to break it first. Ugh. Getting people wailing into equities. He's a liquidity provider. This BTC, IXIC is flipping. This NASDAQ is spilling. This is the big development. You can tell everybody in the crypto verse, you heard it here first. The crypto sniper told you that the first sign of some relative strength in a downward market for crypto and NASDAQ has occurred. Bitcoin is no longer underperforming the NASDAQ on downside. Uh, the NASDAQ is falling faster and harder. 
That is the first small penny in a deposit towards eventual bottoming. And you heard it yeah. You heard it yeah first. No one else told you. That's why you hit the like. You paid with two shares and you said, thank you, buddy, for taking a time out on your afternoon. Instead of running on your e-bike, which you wanted to do, but you ended up getting stuck into the stream and discovering all sorts of stuff. And next thing you know, uh, two hours have gone by. But hopefully a lot of value has been created. So you tell me. Massive gap over this head and shoulder. I wish you could see this chart. I will share it. This one's got to go through the market sniper. The market sniper. Not the crypto sniper. You need to follow the market sniper. Do it now. You will see a chart. And we and you can tag my friend, the hunter, and say, when moon? When 60% moon in five months, four months? Right now, it's a bear. Okay, we don't want to be mean. We don't want to be mean-spirited. It's just irresponsible. I just feel it's irresponsible. You get people absolutely wrecked. You're not, oh, you're so controversial. I am a, I am contrarian. Everybody thinks he's a contrarian. You walk around and there's 99% of the world that thinks they're contrarian. They see it differently. They see it differently. You're an absolute meme. Everybody thinks every time the stock market goes down, it's a BTFD situation and the bond market too. Every Bar D thinks that. Let's show you the NASDAQ. It is going. Let's save it. Save it. We save every single one of our charts, good, bad, or ugly. We are permanently in a state of journalizing our experiences. And we see them again. And we see key levels again. This is what you do if it matters to you. If you really want to do something well. And it's fun. And you start to enjoy it. You suddenly learn to love a process. It's like you're suddenly playing a musical instrument. And next thing you know, you're a millionaire rock star, but you never really realized that you weren't even sure you wanted it that bad. You just became real good at something and it started to pay. You were not chasing the money. Do you get it? That's the difference in psychology. You've got to get it. You've got to get it. You've got to get it. NASDAQ, head and shoulders in. So here we go. Going out on. And shoulders. Yep. Through target and you can ask the relevant people as to where when is that 60% you know when someone starts with something in January and he keeps shifting it it hasn't happened yet but it'll be March but it'll be May but it'll be June sometimes the market gives you feedback that your model is wrong there has to be a point where you say is this patience and I've got the right thinking, and there's other signs, or am I just completely ass about face about that? And I posted charts. The COVID melter was your 50-60% boom. You created $7 trillion. That's what it took to take those assets up. That amount of percent. In some of them, they went up two or 300% in six months. CPI, I, I. Say with me, CPI, I, I. So that sentiment is 1.2 above, 0.2 above recession. That's why it came out just a bit above 50. That is it. You get it? You get it? You get it? That's what they do. They think the consumer has never, J Powell, the labor market is irrationally red hot strong. You know, we can barely hire people to be earn minimum wage where they can barely make a living and live under a bridge. Yeah, yeah, but the consumer is really loving the shit you're throwing down for him. Yep, 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 yep. And that dollar is going to go up and those equities are going to go down, down, down. Good thing about crypto, you can't make shit up without verifying it. I think you're right. Um, And that comment can be allowed. So uh, Schmoogle uh, or YouTube, if there's any Fs and Vimings, puts comments on hold. Made a shitload, then blew myself up. Yep, that's why that was held, the word shitload. Ether looks but ugly. The but would have done it for you, Crypto Elf. Um, when Lambo, lots of monkeys and things. That's why you never got your Lambo comment through. Okay, so your comments are held. Just bear in mind, if you drop the F-bomb like I do, as much as I do, my own comments on my own channel would be held uh, rather often. So that uh, chart has gone out. The NASDAQ head and shoulders. We gave that to our community members. 
We told them all oh, the indices are going to go down, down, down. Yes, God bless them. I'm really grateful to have them. They're awesome. I'm delighted. Uh, actually, okay, good friends with a number in Panama. Shout out to Michael and Diana. Where are they doing? Big shout out to them. Looked after me when I had a flipping rear ending. I got reamed from behind, my friends. If you, in case you're thinking I'm transgendered or anything sexy like that. I got properly reamed by, by a drunk. Um, I wasn't even the driver, I was the passenger. I got properly reamed. I had a nasty one when I was younger. Uh, similar story. Uh, they came and cooked and looked after us. They're just awesome people and living the free life. Hummingbird House. What a beautiful place. What uh, friendship is all about. And they looked after us. We loved it. And then we watched Liverpool lose the Champions League. And I showed them what an arsehole I can be by swearing and cussing and hissing. And then I got on with life and made some money shorting cryptos. Sorry. Sorry. we got to do it. It's going down. Longing the dollar. We hate them, but we got to do it. It's going up. That's it. It's how it is. It's how it is. It's how it is. Um, remember, don't buy bonds and you will not wear diamonds for buying bonds. Yeah. So what else? Liverpool need to stop taking the knee. They all need to. I'm long can corn beef. Yep. Good for you. Excellent. Fine people. 612 likes. Lots of shares. I think we're done. We had uh, all of what we wanted to say. It's been a great evening. We're going to have to head off. We are going for dinner. We made money. Kill the fattened calf. Snipers hit in the town. We made money. By the way, I will be on a Twitter Q&A later today. Later today with Palisades Radio, um, Doomberg Report, other great likables, podcast. You can ask questions. It'll be audio. I'll be on it. That's coming later tonight. Uh, it's quarter past five. Um, it will be two hours, 45 minutes from now. I've got to go consume, get fat and ugly, which I'm pretty good at doing. Come back. Uh, and then we'll be on that podcast, Twitter. You can come and join us. Some awesome people involved there. Let me tell you who else. Palisades, SBTV, uh, Silver Bullion TV, I think. Uh, I've got it. Or probably half right, half wrong. It's all coming. Um, Doomberg, lovely, smart, wise guys on how it's going down. The great energy spike, all of that. If you're interested in the macro of some of the things we're talking, we'll be back on then. I will see you then. Thanks for following. Thanks for the likes. I love it. We've got 620 likes. We actually got 100 50% likes yeah, for people currently watching. We truly appreciate it. We told you the market was going down. We felt it was going down. Remember, we can always be wrong. We told you what was going to go up today, what was going to go down. Dollar up. Everything against the dollar bound. Pound, euro, Dixie up. Part of that, obviously. Gold to uh, initially have a struggle, but actually rather well. Let's just do a final check on it because it was one that was stubborn. We suggested crypto will go down. We have pointed out to you that NASDAQ would go down and is now going down faster. This is an important point for you. That is the, a small little flicker of light for those that only really ever make money on the bull market side. Learn to short, by the way. But you held 29.394 on Bitcoin. It's trying to hold. It's showing some resilience. NASDAQ, bang. Through the floor. Um, yeah. Enjoy the weekends uh, to all of you. And thank you for coming on. And if you like this format, uh, give us a lot of shares. And if you would like the charts next time with the pearl streaming, amazing, shoobity doobity doobity doo kit that we have, we'll do it for you uh, next time. It takes a bit of organizing, um, but we want followers. We want our currency. Uh, we want likes and we want shares. And we appreciate it when you do that. And we're very grateful. Have a good time. Go and make money. It is reset times. We think we understand the order that things are going to go down. We intend to profit from it. We intend to buy as much freedom as we can with this great reset agenda that they're bringing on us through the manner in which we trade, store wealth, uh, and protect each other in a community uh, with multiple places that we arbitrage for resetting out where we can have homes, security, sovereignty in the name of freedom for the individual. They cannot take my freedom. Brave hearted. See you later. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time.